In this video, I will be listing the best Batman animated movies to watch before you die. At least in my opinion from some bald dude on the internet or on YouTube. These movies are not only entertaining, but they also offer some deep insights into the character of Batman and his world. So sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready, and comment below at the end with your thoughts. Batman Mask of the Phantasm is a dark and atmospheric film that explores Batman's origins and his relationship with the Joker. In a weird twisted kind of way, but the film begins with Batman investigating a series of murders committed by a mysterious figure known as the Phantasm. As Batman investigates, he is forced to confront his own past and his relationship. So the relationship between Batman, Bruce Wayne, and Andrea Beaumont is a very relatable and gangster aspect of the film. Their connection is powerful because it highlights the emotional conflict within Batman's character. The power of love and loss. Bruce Wayne in his early days as Batman falls deeply in love with Andrea Beaumont. Their relationship is a source of happiness for him, showing that beneath the cape and cowl, he is a human with genuine emotions. However, when Andrea leaves him abruptly, it's a loss that haunts him. This illustrates that even the Dark Knight, known for his stoicism, is vulnerable to the pain of love lost. This film also shows the struggle between duty and personal happiness and unresolved grief. This reflects the idea that unresolved emotional issues from the past can resurface when least expected. Overall, Mask of the Phantasm serves as a powerful reminder of the complexities of Batman's character and the universal themes of love, loss, and the enduring impact of the past relationships on our lives. And this is a must watch for any fan of Batman animated movies, all right? Next up, we have Batman Under the Red Hood. This is a greedy and action-packed film that features one of Batman's most iconic villains, the Red Hood. It is also a very emotional film that explores themes like revenge, forgiveness, and redemption. The film follows the Red Hood, a mysterious vigilante who is terrorizing Gotham City. Batman and Nightwing must team up to stop the Red Hood, but they soon realize that he may be someone they know very well. Batman's dilemma with the Red Hood underscores the moral complexity of vigilantism and the consequences of his no-kill rule. The Red Hood, who was once Jason Todd, Batman's former protege and Robin adopts a ruthless and lethal approach to fighting crime, which directly challenges Batman's fundamental belief in not taking lives. This dilemma resonates because it forces us to question the ethics of crime fighting. We can relate to the struggle between two individuals with different philosophies on justice. Batman's refusal to kill reflects his commitment to a higher moral code, to a higher moral standard. While the Red Hood's actions stem from a desire for brutal retribution, because he was brutally retributed in the beginning of the film by the Joker. So this conflict highlights the difficult choices people often face when dealing with wrongdoing in the real world. It raises questions about the effectiveness and morality of extreme measures in the pursuit of justice. So in Batman Under the Red Hood, Batman's dilemma serves as a powerful reminder that even in the world of superheroes and villains, ethical dilemmas are at the heart of the struggle for justice, making it a thought-provoking and relatable story element. Treat yourself to this film. If you watched it before, watch it again. It's that good. Batman The Dark Knight Returns is a landmark film that is considered to be one of the greatest Batman stories ever told. It is a dark and mature film that explores the themes of aging, violence, and social decay. The film shows an aging Batman as he returns to the action to protect Gotham City from a new generation of criminals. Batman must also confront his own past and his legacy. Batman's internal dilemma revolves around his struggle with his own identity and the line between hero and outlaw. As Batman ages and Gotham City falls into chaos, he faces a profound internal conflict. He grapples with whether his vigilantism is relevant and whether he can continue to be the symbol of hope Gotham needs. This dilemma is relatable because it mirrors 
real life struggles people face as they age and question their purpose and relevance in a changing world. Batman's inner turmoil also reflects the universal struggle against one's inner demons and past traumas. His return to the cape and cow is not just a physical battle, but a psychological one. It reminds us that even our greatest heroes have vulnerabilities and inner battles to overcome, making Batman a more relatable and human character. Batman's journey in the film represents the struggle to reconcile the dual nature of his persona, Bruce Wayne and Batman. Even though in my personal opinion, the Batman persona overcomes or is more dominant than the Bruce Wayne persona, but either way, this inner conflict resonates as it symbolizes the balance many individuals seek between their public and private selves. Overall, Batman's dilemma in The Dark Knight Returns animated film highlights the timeless themes of aging, inner turmoil, and self-identity making it a powerful and relatable exploration of the human condition. Not to mention, his battle with Superman is a masterpiece in my opinion. Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is an awesome crossover that defies expectations by seamlessly blending the worlds of the Dark Knight and the pizza-loving TMNT Ninja Turtles. The most compelling aspect of this film is how it skillfully navigates the stark contrast between Batman's dark, gritty world and the Turtles' lighthearted and more colorful universe. In my opinion, this crossover shouldn't work, but it does and I love it for it. I even made a single video about this movie. I'll put the link in description. What makes this film a must watch before you die is its ability to bring these two iconic franchises together in the way that respects both source materials. It captures the essence of each character, highlighting Batman's detective skills and the turtle's ninja prowess. Though the clash of tones from Batman's brooding nature to the turtle's humor creates a dynamic and engaging narrative. The film's greatness lies in its ability Ability to balance the darkness of Gotham with the turtle's humor, resulting in a unique and entertaining experience. It reminds us that even in the darkest of times, there could be moments of levity and camaraderie. It's a testament to the university of these characters and the enduring appeal of both franchises. Despite the initial skepticism of Batman's dark world meshing with the turtle's lighter tone, the film manages to strike a harmonious balance that feels genuine and satisfying, and it makes you kind of hungry for pizza. We hung. It's a celebration of both Batman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles proving that sometimes the most unexpected crossovers can produce the most enjoyable and memorable stories. In summary, yo, you just gotta watch this film. It is a must watch because it offers a unique and harmonious blend of two iconic worlds, showcasing the best of both and reminding us that even in the most unlikely pairings, great storytelling can emerge. By the way, I wanted to mention that links in description if you wish to add any of our rated comics exclusives to your comic book collection, support the art, support the industry, and also support your comic book collection. Also, link in description if you wish to add any Batman items to your collection full disclosure i do receive an affiliate commission if you decide to purchase with the affiliate link but if you're going to add any items anyway hey man your boy appreciates your support but with all that being said let's get back into the content because i hope you're enjoying it Batman The Killing Joke is an adaptation of one of the most controversial and acclaimed Batman comic books of all time. It is a dark and disturbing film that explores the Joker's origin story and his twisted relationship with Batman. This narrative insight reminds us that anyone under certain circumstances could be pushed to their breaking point and make choices that lead them down to a dark path. It serves as a reflection of fragility of human sanity and the pivotal role of choice in one's destiny. The film also explores the twisted nature of the relationship between Batman and the Joker. Batman's commitment to justice and his unwavering moral code contrast sharply with the Joker's chaotic, life is meaningless worldview. This dichotomy illustrates how two individuals who experience trauma, albeit in different ways, made opposite choices in response to their pain. It prompts viewers to ponder the thin line that separates heroes from villains and how their circumstances and choices define them. The film's insight into the Joker's origin adds a layer of tragic irony to the Batman-Joker dynamic. Batman's pursuit of justice may be seen as an attempt to prevent others from becoming like the Joker. 
highlighting the ongoing cycle of tragedy and crime in Gotham. This underscores the complexity of their relationship and the eternal struggle between order and chaos. So in Batman The Killing Joke, the exploration of the Joker's origin and his twisted relationship with Batman serves as a thought-provoking commentary on the human condition, emphasizing the importance of choice and the fragility of sanity, making it a powerful and relatable narrative element. So this film is dark and disturbing and thought-provoking that offers a unique perspective on the character of the Joker. You'll enjoy it, I, at least in my opinion, you'll enjoy it. Batman Beyond Return of the Joker is a sequel to Batman the animated series that features the Joker's return from the dead. It is a dark and suspenseful film with some of the most iconic villains of all time, or actually the most iconic villain of all time, the Joker. The film follows Terry McGinnis, the new Batman, as he investigates a series of mysterious crimes that are connected to the Joker. Terry must also confront his own past and his relationship with Bruce Wayne, the original Batman. Now, the flashback scene where Joker transforms a young Robin into Joker Jr., a madly grinning, giggling miniature replica of himself, this sequence serves as a stark reminder of the Joker's capacity for psychological torment and the lasting scars he inflicts on his victims. It's a testament to the film's ability to convey the disturbing consequences of the Joker's actions. This scene in particular is a haunting reminder of the Joker's malevolence, making it a pivotal moment in the film that leaves a lasting impression on you. It is a masterpiece in my opinion. Batman Beyond Return of the Joker is a must watch for any fan of Batman or animated movies. It's a dark, suspenseful, and action packed film and worth watching before you have a serious case of not being alive anymore. In the animated film, Batman Year One, the film follows the early years of Bruce Wayne as Batman and Jim Gordon as he takes on the role of Gotham's police commissioner. Both characters are at a crossroads in their lives. Bruce Wayne seeks to avenge his parents' murder and restore justice to Gotham, while Jim Gordon strives to bring order to a city plagued by corruption. What makes this powerful is the exploration how individuals can transform themselves and their surroundings through determination and a commitment to their principles. Bruce Wayne's journey from a grieving, inexperienced vigilante to the symbol of hope that is Batman demonstrates demonstrates the capacity for personal growth and the pursuit of justice. Jim Gordon's struggles against corruption within the police force mirrors the everyday challenges many face when confronted with issues dealing with the system. His unwavering dedication to doing what is right showcases the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Batman Year One ultimately reminds us that even in a city as dark and corrupt as Gotham, positive change is possible through personal transformation and unwavering commitment to justice. It resonates with viewers, as well as myself, by highlighting highlighting the universal themes of redemption, personal growth, and the enduring human spirit. Now I had to mention this film, Batman Assaulted Arkham. It revolves around the morally ambiguous nature of the characters and the blurred lines between heroes and villains in a world where everyone is out for their own interests. Plus, it's an awesome point of view seeing Batman from the Suicide Squad's point of view versus the audience side point of view. In the film, the squad is sent to Arkham Asylum to retrieve stolen information from the Riddler but they soon find themselves caught in the web of intrigue and betrayal. Batman is a supporting character in the film, but he's still a major presence that it's felt. The Suicide Squad sees him as a dark and mysterious figure, a force to be reckoned with. They know that he is always one step ahead of them and that he is willing to do whatever it takes to stop him. But when the squad thinks that they have him cornered, when they're duking it out in the asylum, he always finds a way to escape. He is like a ghost, always there but never quite seen. One thing to take from this film is everyone has faced challenges in their lives that seem insurmountable. But like Batman, we could overcome these challenges with perseverance and determination. And no, not a billion bucks, but that'll help too. We can never give up no matter how difficult things seem. Another important theme in the film is the cost of redemption. The Suicide Squad members are all criminals and they've all made mistakes in their lives, but they are also given a chance to redeem themselves by working for the government. <laughs> Strings attached, right? Yeah, a bomb to your head will do the trick. However, they soon realize that there is a high price to pay for redemption. They are forced to do terrible things and put their lives on the line. And even if they succeed, 
they may never be fully, truly forgiven them for their past sins, if that makes sense. I know that's kind of a lot of words in there, but anyways, this is relatable because everyone has made mistakes in their lives, but we can all learn from our mistakes and strive to be better people. We may never be able to erase our past, but we can choose to move on and create a better future for ourselves. In conclusion, Batman Assault on Arkham is a powerful and thought-provoking film that offers a unique perspective on Batman and the Suicide Squad. It is a film that will stay with you long after you watch it. That's assuming you don't have a serious case of not being alive anymore. Anyways, I, that is not a threat. That, that's a horrible joke. Okay, we're going to go on to the next movie. Batman Mystery of the Batwoman offers a captivating exploration of the enduring theme of identity and the consequences of being a vigilante. The film introduces the Batwoman, a new hero in Gotham City whose identity remains a shroud in mystery. Batman and Robin grapple not only with solving a crime spree, but also with unraveling the enigma of Batwoman. The film delves into the idea that behind the mask, anyone could be a hero or a villain, and it underscores the complexity of moral choices in a city plagued by crime. The lesson is that heroism can take many forms, and sometimes unconventional methods are needed to combat injustice. This challenges Batman's traditional worldview and forces him to confront the gray areas of heroism. What makes Mystery of the Batwoman a must watch is its ability to provide a fresh perspective on Batman's world. It showcases the ever evolving nature of Gotham City and its heroes. This film is not just a crime solving adventure, but a thought provoking exploration of the essence of heroism and the blurred lines between right and wrong. So why should you watch this film before you die? Because it's thrilling, intellectually stimulating journey that challenges your perception of heroism, identity, morality, in the Batman universe. It's a reminder that beneath the cape and cowl, there are people with real struggles, and sometimes the answers are found in the most unexpected places, making it an essential addition to any Batman fan's watch list. And not to mention, hey, the fight between Batman and Bane, that's definitely awesome to watch too. You gotta have that. So though this is not a solo Batman animated film, I believe this one was worth a mention. The animated film Justice League Doom, Batman's trust issues take center stage as his contingency plans to immobilize the Justice League are exploited by the villains. Batman's rationale for creating these plans stem from a deep-seated mistrust, believing that even his closest allies could potentially go rogue and threaten the world or even succumb to mind control. The gray area lies in Batman's approach to safeguarding against this perceived threat. While his intentions were to protect humanity, his secrecy and lack of trust in his fellow heroes create a divisive atmosphere within the Justice League. Batman's actions raise questions about his ethics and transparency, as well as the balance between safeguarding against potential threats and trusting those who fight alongside of you. Okay, we all can agree that trust is the foundation of any team, even one as powerful as the Justice League. So Batman's contingency plans ultimately led to a crisis of trust and could have torn the team apart. However, in the end, the Justice League demonstrates the importance of forgiveness and understanding, emphasizing that trust can be rebuilt when people acknowledge their mistakes. The lesson from Justice League Doom is that while caution and preparation are essential, they should not come at the cost of trust and open communication. It highlights the need to strike a balance between safeguarding against potential threats and nurturing the bonds of trust within the team. Batman's journey in the film reminds us that trust is fragile and maintaining it is as crucial as any contingency plan. So these are the best Batman animated movies to watch before you die. And I wonder if I should make a part two because there's so many good animated Batman films about this. But you guys will let me know, right? Comment below, let me know. If you're a fan of Batman or the animated movies in general, then you owe it to yourself to check out these films. These movies offer a wide range of experiences from the dark and atmospheric mask of Phantasm to the action pack under the Red Hood. They also explore a variety of themes such as revenge, forgiveness, and redemption. Whether you are a longtime fan of Batman or a newcomer to the character, there is a Batman animated a movie out there for you. Don't be surprised if there's more than one, maybe a few, maybe many. These films are also worth re-watching as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And I like to do more Batman content, but this is a Spawn comic book review channel. But if you like this content, hey, I'll definitely be more than happy to do more like this. So thank you again for watching. Until next time.